I'll that's a nice car. That's my car. <laughs> <laughs> All right, folks, today is an awesome day. We are here at the Koenigsegg factory and we are going to spec out the Koenigsegg Jumeirah, the first ever specking you are ever going to see online here at the factory. And they have an awesome tool built that literally just launched live. And we are confident we are going to build the coolest spec you will see. And we have a very special guest joining us too that's going to help guide us along the way. Please watch. All right, let's do it. So first, is that kind of is that the blue we have on the Esco? Or? No, <laughs> it's not. So, so the blue which we have as a standard on the Chimera is a little bit darker. I noticed. Yeah. Okay. What does the the teal look like next to it? I don't know if that's teal or turquoise. Uh, which one? Oh, that. The it's yeah, exactly. a, it's a launch uh, color. Oh, that's which a is, neat. Uh, very similar for for my gloves. That reminds me of the Lamborghini. It looks just uh, like the SV. The uh, that green turned quite popular. Uh, I believe it. I'm not. Uh, Oh, Normally a green one. car person, but it kind of works Me well. Me neither. It's green is making a resurgence, I feel it like. Is. Um, stick with the other blue. Awesome. And then secondary, what is the secondary like the... So it's the color which you can choose then on the emblems and on the brake calipers. Oh, cool. You guys have quite a... No, there's not quite a bit of wheels, they're just different style variants. Uh, yeah, different colors. Like that looks pretty good, three actually. Three base standards, and then there's these carbon... Okay. We'll stick kind of inlay some I love that. Stick with uh, orange, yeah, for that sure. That looks really good with the blue, actually. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's pretty, pretty wild, actually. What's the third one from the left? Is that, all, is that a gloss black or no? That's, that's carbon. carbon. Oh, that's mm. carbon. Is, what is that rough cost upgrade? It's around the same as the uh, Yesco. Okay, it'll be around 104,000? Around there, yeah. yeah. That looks sharp, man, with orange calipers. That, yeah, that's yeah nice like these could look classic. like really neat next to each yeah, other. Yeah, they could. Yes, then you can do this one also, so that you get all the emblems. Nah, I think that's too much. I think we have to go really subtle, like we did with the Yesco, right? I would, I would also not do that. That takes too much attention from everything else. Since since the wheels are black, I would also go with black. Right? Yeah. You want to sit next to us? Like it's good over. Yeah, sure, sure. Configurator looks really nice, by the way. It turned out great. Have you seen the Ghost package? No, that's what I was. Yes, I wanted um, to check that out. We haven't played with that yet. Oh. So it adds up. Um, oh, what? And even bigger. And also the, on the, the front. diffuser. Yeah. Let me see that zoomed out. That's that is crazy for a family car. And you so have the wing that's in the front. Bigger here. It gives like, downforce. Yeah. And the springs are a bit stiffer, and the shock absorbers are set differently. So it is a, like a handling pack. Downforce stiffer. <laughs> it looks like a spaceship. How much was that package? Roughly. It's around uh, three hundred and sixty. That's a big boy. It is. What's next on the exterior? You have these uh, kind of uh, uh, um, color areas you can do with carbon or other colors, stripes, things. Let's see them. So you can do the stripe. Yep. Just showing it so, so that's... Whoa. Um, we could stick with like the black carbon. Let's see black carbon. That lightens it up a little bit. I wonder if at some point it becomes too much. Look, may I see it more, uh, yeah, side view? I don't know. I think that looks good. I, um, I love this so far. Yeah, it looks it looks pretty amazing. It looks very different than the the gray, the Nardo gray looking launch that I've right, seen with yeah, the yellow. Yeah, uh, especially with the ghost package, which I've never seen. Okay, what's up next? Maybe interior. So here we have the different uh, choices. So I either like leather or Alcantara. I would say Alcantara for consistency. Black one or dark gray. Black. Black, yeah. This is pretty cool. So depending on your uh, color choice of the exterior, it changes the color of the car on the infotainment and oh, nice. on the instrument cluster. Oh, that's, like a, that's a Tesla. It, it, oh, you. you have a Tesla plant, right? Did, did <laughs> you do. take that cue from the Tesla? Yeah, I guess the team did, I guess. Uh, I, got you, I, I got hate you. when manufacturers don't do that. I feel like it's such a simple ad, like the P1, and that car uh -huh. was, is 10 years old now, but every P1 is volcano oh. orange. It drives me crazy. And, yes. uh, and also, the you can see it's blue on the uh, yeah. instrument cluster. Yeah. But not only does it match the out, uh, side color. If you have any custom specs, we get it in there as well. Oh, cool! So if you have logos That's or brilliant. whatever it is, and and the car over the air updates also the Esco, and we kind of have it engraved in our uh, base system all the specs, so you always get it with the latest upgrade. That's awesome. You yeah. can choose yeah. if you want this triple small pads or um, you know one pad. Yeah. Okay. Oh, let me see what that looks like. I kind of like the triple small pad. Is it substantially less comfortable or is it the same? No, kinda? it's it's um, it's more of a visual thing. Okay. It's a little bit more work because there are three pads instead of one. So and nice. you get a bit more ventilation. That sounds good. Well, I think the three pads looks better anyway. It's it's more interesting. 
Uh, is that it on the interior then? Yeah, That's I plenty. mean, you have That's stitching, plenty. you have colors, uh, leather, Alcantara. Then, oh yeah, you can the do carbon. the. You, yeah, can. you can do K and C, uh, press the K and C. So it's it's raw polished carbon instead of uh, matte lacquered. I'd probably stick with the other, I'd stick with the other carbon that you had. Cool, that looks nice. And then we're even going to add uh, the luggages. Yes. Which you can choose either in carbon fiber or in the spec. Carbon which fiber you have luggage. In the car. Nice. Yeah, I mean they're, they're always carbon, but you can choose them mm. painted. Oh, I see. In the color of the car or just. Is carbon. the luggage included with the vehicle? Uh, or is, that is it? Not at the moment. Not no. at the moment. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. May I see the exterior then, just so I can gaze in its splendor? <laughs> <laughs> Voila. Yeah. I think knowing now what that's interior a nice options car. Exist, that's my yeah. car. I'll take it. <laughs> and like that's food. our sound bite. That's our sound bite. Yeah. Exactly. That's the clip. Yeah. <laughs> clip it. I love it. We did all right, folks. Uh, very I mean, that's, cool. That's perfect. So yeah. we have your seal of approval. Yeah, I mean, I, 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 that I would probably spec it very similar. Um, Do you sign dashboards for people? I'm happy to. All right, cool. I've done it a couple of times. So. Is chassis number 69 available on either car? Uh, <laughs> that's my Remac chassis. <laughs> right, right. Uh, <laughs> perhaps. perhaps. <laughs> yeah. It's maybe depending on if you know the right people or not. Oh my God. <laughs> if we could get both cars, if we could get sister cars and chassis 69, that would be legendary. Yeah. Legendary. You heard it here yeah. first. Just kidding. <laughs> For the Yesco, it might be a little bit more difficult because we are maybe it's allocated already, done. already yes. but with the Chimera, uh, there's more room. Okay. We're happy to check room. anyway. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. I, that I that sounds good. It. So you, uh, you put I your deposit when, you said? Like 2020 or 20, like when you guys first launched it. Oh, right. Well, then, then there is actually something more for you to see. Oh. Uh, there is something special for you as well. <laughs> it's All an right. early, early bird package. What, is it, what does it include? Uh, it's, it's, it's a special set of wheels and emblems. Do you have a picture of the wheel somewhere? We do. I can see if I can find it. I, I think amazing. you're the only one who has them. <laughs> the top I love it. I love top it. Secret. So the Jamera was actually the first hypercar that Steve ever put money on. Yeah. Oh really? Yeah. yeah he bought it we've two got... weeks after I started managing his collection. Like, oh wow! Right off the bat. Oh, here we are. Here. So I didn't get that memo. <laughs> She's like, this is news to me. Ooh. Interesting. So that's a one. Oh wow! First edition. Oh, oh and it's gosh. got the first edition. And those will match. Those are going to match the Yesco more similarly too. It's yeah. a bit more like that, it's exactly. Yep. Yeah. So you they, get they have a little bit more of a dish. That's awesome. Well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got to take the specialty wheels. That's awesome. Just like the Yesco spec that I did, I had the great honor of specking this here with Mr. Koenigsegg himself, um, Christian von Koenigsegg. So thanks so much for helping us spec this. We really, really appreciate it. Um, My you seem to be more pleased with this. I think you like the Yesco, but this one turned out even better, yeah? I think this is very close to what I would do myself, actually. So. <laughs> I love it. I love well it. Done. Well, awesome. Well, thanks so much for watching, guys. We appreciate you.